Hello, good, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is William Hathaway. Um, I'm at the Prudential Center in the city of North New Jersey. And today, another non-conference home game for Seat Hall. Coming to the game, 3-0. And Wagner is coming to the game, 1-2. This is another non-conference game. Uh, Seat Hall was just coming off with a win against Albany. And Wagner is 1-2 right now. And enjoy the afternoon with some video and footage of this uh, um, 12 noon game. Thank you.
game for us obviously it's been a tough tough stretch um, you know new, new coming into the game we had to kind of play perfect their size um, the athleticism uh, how they're scoring inside you know and how they make things difficult for teams like us um, you know we kind of knew if we could kind of keep it close I thought we kind of beat ourselves early which kind of stretched things out you just can't make it, uh, mistakes the way we had against those guys um, initially offensively I thought we did a decent job defensively, especially early. Um, but we had some turnovers, some bad possessions that kind of can't afford to have in game, games like this. Um, but, you know, hats off to them. I, I knew they were good. I like the direction of the program, um, you know, what they're doing. Um, you know, obviously, Kadari, you know, I'm really happy for him, uh, how he's playing. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, they can continue because I do like the school. Um, but, you know, my team here, I am proud of them. I am proud of them. We have a lot going on. Uh, they were a f reflection of me, um, and that's something we weren't the last game. So I'm very proud of how they fought. We have a lot going on injury-wise, and it's the next man up, and these guys are battling, and they're with me and with the program and how I coach. Uh, so I am proud from that standpoint. As far as no moral victories, we got to figure it out what we got. So, so if you, you were here when Kadari Richmond was here, right? Yep. Uh, it looked like you had a pretty specific game plan to deal with him, doubling him. Mm -hmm. What do you think of how he's playing and how difficult it is? Well, he's in, he's in great shape right now. I think that's the biggest thing I notice about him. And I know Kadari well. I have a good relationship with him. I haven't talked to him leading into this game. I, I, I'll try and give him some positives going forward. But, um, you know, he, he he's their offense, I think. You know, a, a, a player like him, he's coming into his own of what the expectation was. He can do so many things, and now he's scoring the ball. We wanted to shrink the court. You know, I think early we, we did a good job of that. They got a little confused with – you know, when we really collapsed and then they turned the ball over and things like that, we wanted to make them have to make threes. Um, but it started with him, and I thought we did a good job of that, but he's such a good player, man. He, he finds a way and he knows how to play. So it was tough. It was tough for our guys. So I think he, once he was able to establish some things, that really spearheaded them to kind of move forward. So you feel like you took him out of the game early at the top of the key, and then instead of playing at the top of the key, you went into the wings and was posting the players? Yeah, I, I knew the post was coming. They have so many ways, you know, they get it to them, you know. So they have top of the key pick and rolls. They have top side pick and rolls. They have post ups. They have the option where he can just go. So really, the main focus was, uh, you, you know, you try to make it difficult for him. You know, you're not going to necessarily take everything away. He's going to get by because he's a good player. Really, just wanted to shrink the court, man. And if he was shooting jumpers on us, whether they went in or not, that's a win for us. Now it was on us to rebound. So, but yeah, like I said, he. He's, he's seen a lot. He's going to see more. Um, you know, I think if he can stay at it, he's going to be tough to handle. I thought early we did a good job, but, you know, it was tough to sustain it. Donald, do you notice that they have more options offensively and are deeper, both in the front court and perimeter-wise, than they were, you know, maybe last year? I, I think they're deeper. It seems like they're still trying to figure out, and that's what these games are. That's what these, uh, 
non-conference games are, but I think you know they, they'll go as far as Kadari, uh, Al, and um, Dre Davis take them. That's, just, that's what I see, and those are three really good players, I think, um, that they can play around. It gives you a good sense of balance. Kadari can do a number of things and create. You know, I, I, I told my team about Al Dawes. He has big shot capability. Every time he touches it, it's a game winner. Um, Dre Davis, who's playing with something to prove, those are good pieces to have uh, in the Big East. And then everybody else, you know, as you go through it, they'll find their roles. You know, but they're doing a good job defensively um, early on against guys, teams like us. Um, so I, I, I hope that they can continue to gel, you know, and move forward through the season. Thanks. Uh, what happened in the handshake line with you and Sean? Unfortunate, unfortunate situation. Um, you know, I don't want to get too in-depth. I, I am embarrassed. Uh, I want to apologize. I apologize to my team, um, you know, for kind of what went on uh, with that. But I have a ton of respect for Shaq. Um, I've always looked up to him coming up, you know, as a smaller guard. I think I talked to John uh, yesterday about that. Um, you know, uh, he's a competitor. I'm a competitor, too. You know, I think that's, that's probably a little bit part of it. Um, I, I just try to coach my team. Um, you know, that, that's what I focus on no matter who I'm playing. Uh, I want to coach my team from the start to finish. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, I think it's unfortunate because I think it's unfortunate. I think it's unfortunate uh, what happened uh, for him and me. Um, you know, we're, we're two alum. Um, Seton Hall means the world to me. This, this opportunity that I have means the world to me. Uh, so that's why it was important. The first thing I did, I, I talked to my guys just about the culture piece of things. Uh, that's not how you react or behave. Um, you know, so I think it's, I'll take responsibility and my part in it, um, but I, I'm not gonna kind of go into what, what it was, but I, I wanna coach my team from start to finish. That's, that's what I'll do. I spoke with uh, Ramirez. I saw he had a brace on his, on his left, uh, left wrist. Is there a timeline to diagnose on that? No, um, you know, he's tough. <laughs> he's one of the many guys I got playing right now. I mean, Keontae Lewis, you know, who's a starter, a big focal point for our team, man. I, you know, he just you know, had something unfortunate during the game, had to sit him. But Ramir hurt his wrist in our last game. You know, he's battled through injuries. He's tough. You know, uh, we had to kind of like sit him out because he wanted to play. Um, it's difficult not having. He's our best all-around player. You know, but hopefully we can get him back healthy. I don't have a timeline though for him. Last one, Coach. On uh, the first half, you guys restricted the paint area, came close. Mm -hmm. The second half, they pushed the pace. You know, on yeah. you guys. Do you think that them pushing the pace helped you guys with your offense, you know, kind of threw you off offensively? No, no I, you know, that was a big key to the game for them. You know, for, they, they've been pushing in transition. I think they, I think they need transition points because um, they're not, you know, they're not shooting, hitting a bunch of threes. So the pace of the game is important, especially against teams like us. You know, you want to kind of slow the game down to make possessions longer. So now you can set your defense and then now, because I think we, we kept them, I don't know what the score was, but we kept the numbers low, I think, relatively to what they've been doing. And that it can't just be uh, us pressuring all the time. you got to kind of get back in transition. So I thought we did that for the most part. They were able to get going because, you know, they're a good team. They're a good team. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. So, yep. Thank you. With the uh, student athletes first, questions for Kadari Richmond and Ray Davis. Who wants to start us off? Ryan, Henry, you want to start us off real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. sure. Um, Kadari, a double-double today, uh, really did well, especially rebounding. Can, this has kind of just been a stretch to continue on for the start of the season. How have you seen kind of the, your game evolve, especially coming into this season? Um, just putting the time in the offseason, finally being healthy for the offseason, and just um, believing in what the coaching staff is preaching, and just trying to be the best guy I could be day in and day out. Jordan and Dre, let me ask you this. Uh, what do you think this team's added in four games with uh, some big games coming up next week? How do you feel about what you've seen so far? We could always be better. Uh, there's always room for improvement, so I'm not going to get too high or get too low. Get we could always be better. Dre? Um, I think that was kind of spot on. Um, I think it's important not to get too high or too low. Um, just stay even killed throughout this entire process and day by day get better. Adam. I guess, guys, just how much you kind of looking forward to this West Coast trip and playing some, you know, USC and then a tougher team, you know, from a bigger league, you know, kind of testing yourself against some tough competition. Great. Um, no, it's definitely exciting. Um, obviously, be able to travel. Um, 
new atmosphere. Get to play against some different teams that uh, you know won't get the chance to um, throughout the season. You know, some Pac-12 teams and um, you know the other two teams that's going there. So I think it's a good opportunity to show who uh, we are on a bigger stage. Um, but at the end of the day, it's about us. It's not about who we're playing. Um, just go there, play our best foot forward. Um, continue to get better. Jerry, I want to ask you about the ball movement. You had 15 assists as a team. It seemed like you were directing traffic a lot right, out there and without the ball. Kind of going down the spot. What do you think about the way this group is sharing the ball for the last season? I feel like that's what we've been trying to preach day in and day out. Uh, give up uh, good shots for great shots and just make sure that everybody's playing as hard as they can and the ball's gonna find you. Don't go hunting for the ball. Yeah. Very early in the game, there were double you at the top of the key and then you went into the wing. Do you feel like you're comfortable now playing offensively at any point of the court and you just can do whatever has to be done? Oh uh, yeah, I feel like I'm just a basketball player. Like wherever you put me, I think I'll be fine. So that's really much it. Kadar, you said earlier about things you want to get better at. What areas does Seton Hall need to get better at? Collectively playing defense as a one and just continue giving up good shots for great shots and being more vocal and talking to each other. Have you seen that improvement through the four games? But still more to go, I understand. But have you seen that? Yeah. Is that time for a few more? What do you guys know about Isaiah Collier, the USC point guard is like a projected top five pick. You seen him at all? You play against them? Looking forward to playing against them? Um, definitely. Um, but before, obviously, like you said, projected top five picks. So it's obviously um, going to be a big game. But I mean, like I said, then that doesn't matter who we play. Come, come and play senior you know, basketball. Okay. Kadari, how well do you think this team is defending so far? Um, like I said, there's always room for improvement. Uh, we just got to keep going out and keep trying to build our way to playing senior hall basketball day in and day out. Four games in, uh, where does this team compare to where it was last year at this time? Do you see a big difference? Yes, well. You don't want to guess Kadori. All right, we want you to take it down, Brett. I'm oh, sorry, can you ask it again? Sure. Uh, four games into the season, where is this team at compared to where this group was last year? You guys were both here. This group was out last year, four years. What's the difference in the stage? Um, I think just you know trying to preach our togetherness. Um, you know trying not to really look too much in the past. You know try to let the past be the past and focus on this year. Um, focus on this group and what we have. Um, continue, like I said, each day just continue to get better each day. But I think we really just trying to preach our togetherness. One more for either guy. Uh, what do you guys think of Isaiah Coleman and how he's playing? Seems like he's taking advantage of his opportunity. I think he has a lot of potential. Um, you know, very athletic wing, um, high ceiling. Uh, it's really going to help this team offensively and defensively. I'm really proud of him. You know, uh, you know, growth throughout the summer up to now. Uh, like I said, look for big things from him. Thank you. Coach Holloway? So we, we have to ask you, what happened at the end of the game with Donald? We asked him about it. Yeah, no, you know what, Jerry, I'll be honest with you, man. I, I, I take full responsibility for that. I like Donald. Donald's like a little brother to me, man. I'm super uh, disappointed that that happened. Um, but as a bigger brother, I take responsibility for it because it shouldn't ever happen. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I, I got to realize where you, when guys are competing, you know, kind of like friendship and stuff, stuff like that go out the window, right? Um, and he's fighting for his team. I, I, I respect it. So, like I said, I, I, I take responsibility for that. Um, I like Donald. I respect him. Um, he's a good person. He's a good player. He was a good player. He's a good coach. Coach, um, first couple of games, you were saying that you guys were playing selfish basketball. Game four, I know you're never happy as a coach, but you see this, this team maturing and playing it type of level of basketball you want to play? No, nah, we're still, still not there yet. We're still not there yet. You know, we got to, you know, when you come out in the first half, half, first half like that, um, you know, that's not a good sign. Right? Um, kind of did that the last couple of games. I think the only good half we had was FDU in the first half. Um, but
But we just could have come out and, and, and played with a sense of urgency. I don't think we were doing that. I don't know because it was early or what, but I didn't like the way we came out. Um, and I knew this team was going to be tough. You know, they played like St. Peter's. They, you know, they, you know, it's a kind of a mix to the coach. You know, he's a scrappy player, or was a scrappy player, so they play that way. Um, and we didn't, you know, in the first half, we didn't challenge it. We didn't, you know, we didn't come out and play the way we were capable of playing. Second half, we did, and I think that's what changed the game. Jason? Was that the adjustment half? Because it came out, I think, you had eight assists or something like pretty quick in the second half. Was the ball movement one of the things you really talked about? Yeah, you know, it's it's tough when you're playing mono to mono I'm playing. I can't run anything because guys are out of position, right? Drake got a five, and then you got Dylan playing the four, he got a four, so they don't know the plays from that spot. So we just kind of, you know, once we got JB back in the game, because they went small, right? They, they, they went small, so we, I try to go small, which was a bad idea. I should have just stuck with my team, right? Um, and I think the second half we did that, we shared the basketball, um, and that was the difference. We got stops. You know, we got a thing with us, we tried to get – three stops in a row, um, and we got six in a row, and we scored, and that's what I think changed the game. Yeah. You said the team when you're coming out with any intensity or any sense of urgency. That probably hurts a little bit on defense, but then after those first few minutes, how would you rate the defense? The second half was good. The first half, I don't think it was good. You know, we just, you know, a team like that, they could shoot the basketball from four spots, um, so we didn't want them to shoot the ball, and then the kid council could really get out in, in, in transition. He's a really good player. Um, I thought second half, I thought we played my type of basketball. First half, I, don't, I didn't think we did. And just from an offense standpoint, too. You know, the ball was moving. Um, you know, guys was getting shots. We got Al some shots. Um, you know, and then uh, we got JB down low, over the court a little bit. And then obviously Kadari um, was doing what Kadari was doing. Then, you know, Dre, you know, he, he was, he's playing at a high right now. What was your mindset with the big guy when you took him out early to go small on small? And then you changed that in the second half going big? Well, I, I, I was matching, you know, you know, they, like I said, they could shoot the basketball. I didn't want them to get no threes up, you know, and with JB out there, it's hard for them to chase those guys around, right? I mean, they were really small at one time. Um, and then the second half, you know, we just kind of played out basketball. Sure. So it seems like you're trying to get multiple guys ready to handle the ball. I think these teams are going to double Kadari. What do you think of how that's going with, with Al, with uh, Dylan? Yeah. Well, but Jerry, I, I want three, um, three playmakers on the court at all times. Like that's kind of how I build this team. So you can't take one guy away. You take one guy away, now the next guy got something, right? Um, so that's probably trying to do. Then also trying to get Malachi, you know, some more minutes. Um, so I think he can help us down the stretch. But um, yeah, that's like that's been the goal from day one. We're trying to get everybody three guys on the court that can hold the basketball and make plays. Before could Dre too. Got time for a few more, Jason. You got a big lead in the second half. You put, I mean, you had a lineup of entirely, you know, reserves out there for an extended run. What did you think of how they how they did in that in that time span? We didn't rebound the basketball. They at one time they got five offensive rebounds in a row, so I was super disappointed in that. Um, and just trying to get guys comfortable. Like I think we want these Sada, right? So just trying to get him some, you know, some confidence. Um, he's six ten. You know, he could. He's more of a wing than a, than a big, but I need, him, I need him to rebound the ball for us. Um, but for the most part, I just was trying to rest my guys. Like we had a big long trip coming up. Um, you know, I thought we had a good enough lead where I could pick guys in, and you know, um, and they still sustain it. More, Ryan. Yeah, you said you wanted to get Malachi some more run time to prepare him. How do you think he did today? Um. I thought he did better the other day. <laughs> uh, you know, I, th I thought he came out. And, I, and you know, sometimes it's tough, right? When you sit on the bench for 30 plus minutes and I kind of pitch in the game, and you know, you don't have a feel for the game, right? Um, but you know, I think the more he plays, the more confident he's going to get, the better he's, he's going to be. I stepped out, so I'm sorry if you answered this, but just going out west, how much are you looking forward to playing? You know, stepping up the level of competition. I'll be honest with you, Adam. You know, every game for us is big. You know, these, these four games was. Big for us. I don't. I don't look at it like you know. We play these guys. I play these guys. Every game we play is big. Um, obviously, looking forward to you know traveling, going out there. I ain't really looking forward to the travel as far. <laughs> but you know, as far as playing this level competition, it's gonna be great. You know, these guys get a chance to play on a different stage, get different people. Um, so it's it's more about these guys, um, and that's what you come to college for. Right? That's what you come to a power six school to play against. You know, teams like this that we got to play against.
last two, Matt. Uh, you, you talked about some of the improvements you'd want to see, better starts, et cetera, but how would the first four games set you up for this trip, the first real big test? It's a good question. You know, I think um, either Gary or Dave asked me that on the radio. You know, like, I guess we'll see when we get there, right? I, I'm hoping that it, it sets us up pretty, pretty good, right? Just to kind of get a feel for each other, right? Um, and, and with this group, to be totally honest with you, it's been tough because before our first game, the starting five only played with each other for a week because I had other guys on different teams just trying to mix and match, you know, making practice more competitive, just trying to get other guys involved in sort of teams. And I put, this, I put that team together a couple of days before the first game, so they kind of still learn each other. Uh, I think, you know, um, a game like um, the two games that we played out there is going to really show, you know, um, who we are right now. But it's still early. You know, and that's the thing that I'm, I'm hopeful for. It's still early, so I want to win. I hope we win, right? But you, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of learning, and, you know, and we still got a lot of basketball to play. That's right. Uh, four games in, what are your impressions of this group? I think, I think we, we, can, we can still get, get, get better, right? I think that's why I'm excited. I don't think we kind of... We're anywhere near where I want to be as a team right now, um, and that's what you know. I get excited. I'm also upset because you know, with my five guys, they like they really old, like old, old in the sense of they all played college basketball for four years, four plus years. So I expect more out of these guys. Not come out like the way we came out. You can't do that. You know, we did the same thing against St. Peter's. These guys gotta be much mature enough. So um, to answer your question, I think you know, I like it because I think. I still could kind of put my imprint on these guys. Last one. I know you had a lot going on today, but just having Kadeen here after you had Isaiah. Yeah, I even see Kadeen, man. I mean, just what's it like having him here and they're both home safe? You know? No, it's great. It's great. You know, Kadeen has been one of my favorites. Um, great kid. Excuse me, great young man. You know, um, I'm glad he's home. I'm glad he's safe. Um, so I'm super sad I get a chance to see him. Hopefully he's still around. Um, but it's good. It's good to have those guys around. And I, I've been blessed, to tell you the truth. You know, since I've been here, we had a lot of guys come back, you know, and, and be part of the program, and that was part of the program. And that's why I'm upset at myself, the whole thing with Donald, because he was one of those guys as well, and he's my guy, and I got a lot of love for D. Um, but, like I said, you know, I'm happy that guys, you know, John Moore was there today. You know, I saw him the other day, he was around, and, you know, Darryl Walker, and a lot, a lot of guys been coming back around, which I love, because I told these guys, I'm here, that means we're here. No, I'm a former player, they're a former player, this day team just as much as his mom's. Do you think it shows guys like Dre and Kadari that there's a lot of former guys in the pros and playing professionally and that could be their future too? Absolutely, absolutely. And those guys been around this summer, talking to my guys the whole summer and playing with them. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of been, you know, Jordan Theodore was around. A bunch of guys been been around that's been talking to my guys and, and, and helping these guys out. And I'm, I've been super blessed to have that. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Hey, Mike, I don't see you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. You too. Yeah, me too, right? USC, right? <laughs> <laughs>